In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the third week of Amshir, and uh, next week the Lent will begin. So always the months of Amshir, uh, it comes in the Lent. So most of the reading, sometimes we don't read it all. We can read the first and the second week, Sometimes the third week, the Lent enter. But this time, next week, we will begin a new book, or a book of the Katamaras of uh, uh, the Lent. So we will begin next week, God willings, the journey of uh, the Lent. That's why the church, from the beginning of this month, or the beginning of this Coptic, I'm sure, Coptic months, speaking to us about how to be satisfied, how to be filled. Can you tell us how to get rid of it? Because the human being is a human being. A human being born hungry, like to eat. And one of the problems in our life is food. Is that right? And many times in the fasting, we break our fasting because we are, we are what? Hungry. We break it literally or we break it really Practically, sometimes I'm fasting, I'm thinking about what I will eat later, what I will drink later, what mom cook for us today, mom we need this food today, what is fasting? Mm. It's a very early question, what is fasting for us? Isyam. Basically, يعني very simple. Isyam, أعيش من غير أكل. صح؟ صح ولا لا؟ الصيام ما كلش لفترة معينة. كنيسة محددها لنا. So fasting, I should live, move without thinking about about food. That's why the church bought for us the whole three weeks. Speaking about not hunger, not the normal food, but the eternal, eternal food, which give eternal life. <coughs> and if you look at the book of today, the book of Abraxis, the story, very nice story. Uh, it says here, when the believer gather together to eat, the bread, St. Paul was talking, like we do here in the reading, exactly like the church, early church like today. He spoke to them, and he was up to the middle of the night. As the story said, someone fell down from the window, second floor up, went down, died. But St. Paul say, don't fear, his life is still in him. And he prayed on him, and they continue, and they ate the bread and the wine, and they went out. As his, the story said here, everyone was glad. Everyone was rejoicing. Everyone was enjoying and comforted with the Spirit of the Lord and his body and his blood as the story said here today for us. So the church transforming our mind from physical food to a spiritual food. We need to understand that spiritual food needs, we need it very much in our growth. We need to grow in the spirit. And, and the food of the spirit 
is the food, is, the, is our relationship with God, our Bible, our prayers, the Holy Communion. Without that, we will never grow. Yes, we grow in the age, we grow in the body, but we never grow in the spirit. Our spirit is more important. Knisa bit'allimna izay nanmu fil-ruh. Wa nnamu fil-ruh mihtaj ghiza. Wa ghiza al-ruh ghir ghiza al-jasad. Ghiza al-ruh dayman kullina arfinu. Kullina arina annu. كلنا تعلمناه في مدرسة أحد وفي الكنيسة بس محدش بيعمله محدش بيمشي ورا غزة الروح كلنا بنمشي ورا غزة الجسد No one follow the food of the spirit Most of us follow the food the physical food which is the Lord say today it will happen what will happen to the food of, of the fresh will perish will go No benefit No benefit So today, Jesus said, I am the living bread. Do you believe in this statement? I'm asking questions. Do you believe this is the word of God? I am the living bread. أنا خبز الحياة. إحنا بنصدق في الآية دي. بنصدق فيها مية في المية. ولا كم في المية. ايه رايكم كم في الميه بنصدق الايه دي انا هو خبز الحياه اي ام ذا ليفينج بريد هي سيد ذات تو اس سو شود تراست ذات شود نوت جيت وريد اباوت وات وي ايت وات وي درينك وات وي وير اور وير وي جو اور وات وي هاف ان اور بوكيتس ذس از ذا كوماندمنت اوف جاد اي ام ذا ليفينج جاد اند هي سيد هير ان ذا جوسبل اوف توداي People ate the manna in the wilderness. And what happened to them? آباءكم أكلوا المن في البرية. حصل لهم إيه؟ حصل لهم إيه؟ هم؟ ماتوا. وخلصت حياتهم على كده. ماتوا. عايزين يأكلوا. خلاص؟ تفضلوا كله. طب بعد الأكل حصل إيه؟ ماتوا. Your, your forefathers ate the manna in the wilderness and died. But I am the living bread who gives eternity. We are looking for eternity. Is that right? Right or no? All of us will say yes. All of us who are looking for eternal life. Eternal life, the Lord gave us the steps. He say, connect yourself to me. Be close to me. Come and participate in my table. Not only here, at home. His word is life. His word is the way and the truth. His word give direction to heaven. Correct? Many of us neglect that. Many of us neglect the word of God at home. Many of us neglect the relationship with God at home. Very essential and very important to have relationship with God, everyone by himself. So we can enjoy the table of the Lord and benefit the table of the Lord. He said here, and this is a, a good introduction for us, all of us to repent, all of us to come to the Lord. Who come to me, I will never... Send him back. We come to him with what? We come to him with what? Hmm? Hmm. We come to him بنيجي للمسيح بإيه؟ بنجي له بإيه؟ أحزننا وأتعبنا ومشاكلنا واحتياجاتنا صح؟ هو بيدي الاحتياجات ايه؟ الروحيه وايه؟ والجسديه. He gave the needs of the flesh and the need of the spirit. He need us to connect ourselves to him. So please, if you are worried, 
if you are worried or troubled that your sin is hindering you to come to him, it is wrong. Jesus, our Lord, say, come to me with your labor, with heavy, with your heavy burden. I will do what? I will never return you back empty. I will give you. I will bless you. I will show you the direction. I will encourage you. I will empower you. I will uplift you. All of our days, we go upside downs. We need someone to do what? To raise us up. To raise us up. So the Lord today, in his promises to us, he say, I am the living bread who give life. And if you feel that you are the most sinful, you are the, the correct one. If you feel you are the most sinful person, you are the best and the perfect one to meet the Lord. Is that correct? Correct or no? Yes. yes. We have a lot of examples in the Bible. A lot of sinners came and the Lord sent them with joy. Do you want to go outside to do joyful? Meet him today. Talk to him today. Open your heart for him today. And he's giving us this commandment. I am the living bread who gave life to everyone. If we believe in this verse, and I'm sure we believe in that, let us all of us today open our heart to him and say to him, Lord, Lord, I need you. Lord, you are the one who can direct me. Lord, you are the one who can feed me. We need to be fed today and every day. Hunger is coming. Hunger is coming. When hunger comes, what we should do? We should have storage. We should store food, but not this food, not this physical food. We need the spiritual food, which is the church teaching everyone today. God say to everyone, if you come to me, you will never get hungry. Let it be your agenda every day. Go to him every day. Speak to him every day. Open your heart to him every day. Give him your burden every day. Adilu at'abak. Adilu al-mashakil. Adilu kull al-ihtiyagad b'tahtak kull yom rabbina hai zabbat lak al-agenda b'tahtak. Wa hai ullak ta'amil ee wa timshi zay. Mahtagin? Ah, mahtagin. Kullina mahtagin in yadda Allah tibqa fi biyutna. Kullina mahtagin in yadda Allah tibarik kull umur hayatna. كلنا محتاجين ان يد الله تحمي الولادنا محتاجين ولا لا نروح له نقول له يا رب انت الليفنج بريد انت ال... انت خبز الحياه بتاعنا مش الخبز بتاع العالم اللي ربنا حكى لنا عليه النهارده وقال والبرش هيمشي مش هيبقى موجود يا ريت النهارده عشان الصيام داخل الاسبوع الجاي اي حد اني وان هاز بيردن or sin, come to him. Come to him. Let us begin our journey with clear heart and mind and satisfied from the Lord this time. Let us build ourselves. I'm sure it should be from long, long time. But let us put it our agenda from this week. We'll begin the journey. We need to be fed because in this journey, there is too much fight, too much temptation, too much trials, too much. And the Lord said, I am next to you. Take this privilege. Enjoy him. Enjoy him. Enjoy to speak to him. This is the conclusion of, of the whole three weeks from the beginning of Amshir up to today. Next week, I'm sure we'll not read the fourth Sunday. The fourth Sunday I speak about the visit when Jesus visits the chaos. When the chaos became filled with the word of God, what was his reaction? What was his reaction in front of everyone? 
I say, if I have wronged anyone, I am sorry. If I have taken anything from anyone, I am returning back how many times? Four times. Lord, you are my food. I need you only. Without you, I will never make it. Let us keep this aspect. Let us keep the Lord to be our guide, our guard, our map, our compass, our direction to the Father. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are they.